Hey Taurus, welcome to your October 2021 Money, Career and Business Tarot reading with me, Stella Wilde. This is for you, Taurus. Money, Career, Biz and those pentacles. Stay tuned. So my name is Stella Wilde. This is my lovely assistant, Ariel, and we are here to give you the intuitive information you need to manifest your wildest dreams. All right, Taurus, we're going to check in first with the Major Arcana from my Bold and Bodacious deck. And this is just to give you the overall energy, feeling, flavor, etc. for the month ahead. And then we're going to clarify this. And then we have a beautiful uh, Money, Career, and Biz Oracle deck to dive into with additional tarot. So let's see what we have for you, Taurus, your overall energetic theme. <laughs> Gorgeous, the fool. Beautiful. Now, I do have to give some astrological caution to not start anything new if you can help it until after October 18th. All right, well, let's clarify and see where this new beginning is for you. Because of all the planetary retrogrades, Pluto goes direct the 6th. Saturn direct on the 10th, Mercury and Jupiter direct on the 18th. Okay, so by that full moon in Aries on the 20th, we will have all systems go except for Neptune and Uranus, which will still be retrograde. All right, so let's see what we have for you. Oh, we have a ton of cups. Beautiful. So some sort of beautiful home happiness. And an ace of coins. <laughs> Taurus, something big is a Bruin for you. So we have a new opportunity. We have a big new money seed. Look at this gorgeous energy. Wow. So something, something new is a Bruin, I think, in terms of your career because of the, the ace of coins. Um, but for some of you... It could, this new beginning could involve, I know it sounds paradoxical, but it could, I'm going to read this a couple of ways. It could involve retirement so that you'll be spending more time at home and you're happy about that. And that's the new seed you're planting. All right. Um, and you're kind of on the road and, and you're going to maybe get to travel a little bit. That's possible. Um, others of you, you may be starting some sort of home-based business that you're very happy about, uh, with this 10 of cups. Maybe some of you are also getting the go ahead to work from home that you can stay working from home. If you've already been doing that, because the 10 is interesting. The 10 is like the culmination of a situation. So we have like, a, a you know, the end point, but we also have a beginning energy. So that's why I'm saying for those of you, I think who've already been doing that, you're going to be able to continue to do that. And maybe they give you the go ahead that you can do that. Others of you, this is a real estate situation. This is potentially moving on and finding the place, the new home, finding the place finally that you, you get your offer accepted, et cetera. Um, this may be happening around the 10th. I know Pluto, Pluto, actually Saturn will go direct on the 10th. If you've already been looking for a home, so you started it before the Mercury retrograde, you could still get the offer and make the offer and have it accepted uh, while Mercury's retrograde. However, I encourage you to make sure that if possible, you sign all the final paperwork after the 18th of October, okay? Now, the planets sometimes, you know, we can't wait for the planets. We sometimes have to do things even when the astrological timing is a little wonky. Um, but there's nothing bad here. So it seems like everything will be okay. But especially if you've already been in this pursuit of some sort of home situation. I mean, the other possibility here too is if uh, you get some sort of new new job offer, it, it brings a lot of happiness to the family. So maybe there were some situations where the money's been tight. It's been a little tense in the home, but that situation is now ending. Thus, we have the 10 of cups because the new job offer came in. All right. Because we know, as I was just saying to Leo, like when we have stresses with our finances, it causes, you know, when the finances are up and down, it causes stresses in our home, stresses with our family, stresses within us. So this again suggests to me that because of something new beginning with your money, career and business, Again, both of these energies, the stress level is done, right? We have this beautiful 10 of cups. 
So, but I really feel for some of you, this is something very exciting going on with your home life. And because the fool can be associated with moving, it's a moving card. I'm not, I'm not necessarily feeling you move this month. You could, remember it's a general reading, but I think you're going to know where you're going to move by the end of the year. That's what if with this 10 of cups, this could take us all the way to the end of the year. I know, hard to believe we're already in October, right? So very, very positive and exciting energies here for you. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, Taurus, let's see what is going on for you with our Oracle deck. We have the heart. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Emotional spending, joint finances, being supported, counselor, guide, having a job you love. Ah, that's very interesting. Um, it could be, in fact, it's, we're going to pull more cards to clarify this, but it could be, in fact, that, yes, if you have a partner in your life, they could be very supportive of whatever this new beginning is for you. Or, you know, a family member or a very close friend, somebody who's really on your side with this energy. They could be very supportive of a new beginning um, in your life. All right, so let's clarify this. Joint finances, being supported, having a job you love. Let's focus on that. The job you love. What do we need to know about that? For you, Taurus. Ace of Wands, baby. Beautiful. And the Fool, again. You're starting something new. This is it right here. Look at this. Look at all of this gorgeous energy. Double Fool time. The Heart. Two Aces. Ace of Wands. Ace of Pentacles. This is all about a brand new beginning that you are going to love, Taurus. But there is something here about you taking the initiative, of course, right? Things just don't fall out of the sky. Ace of Wands is like, you've got to assert yourself and go after the new beginning as well. Okay, so, and it's going to come to fruition provided that it's fully aligned with your heart. It's something you truly love. All right, let's pull some more cards to clarify. Wow. Hanging man. Okay. Four of wands, more four, interesting, more family energy. Are you kidding me right now? Like, seriously, <laughs> like I use the coins. I say that to Ariel all the time. Are you kidding me? That's why her head perked up. Brand new beginnings. Look, double aces of coins showing up here. Double, well, we already had double, double fools. I mean, okay, this is what I feel. For some of you, there is likely to be maybe two new beginnings. So it could be a new beginning with your job and a new beginning with your home life in some way. So it could be a new job you, you do working from home. So it's new on both fronts. It could be that you're going to accept a job offer and you're actually going to be moving. There's something going on with that because also we have a four of wands here, which is a home-based card. So, and this is showing up twice. Others of you... It is very possible you're accepting two part-time jobs. I know in these day and ages, I mean, sometimes that's what you have to do. You take two part-time jobs and you can until you can get the full-time job. But at least, you know, it's the money coming in. It's a fresh beginning and it is much easier to manifest some other opportunity if you have one in your hand already. That's just the way it is sometimes. So that's possible. For others of you, you may have to choose between two opportunities, two offers on the table. Um, I think both of them are good. And again, as I was saying to Leo earlier, it's a cliche, I know, but sometimes we need to be reminded of it, that it's important to follow our heart and choose the thing that we're going to love doing. Yes, money's important. Of course it is. We need a roof over our heads. We need to eat. Um... And I know you love your pentacles, um, but sometimes it's not always about that. Sometimes it is about also what is the best decision for our personal happiness, perhaps for our family. And sometimes that isn't always about the money. So everybody's situation is different. Apply the energies to your life. But you are saying yes to something new. And the hangman, I think, is here because 
you are going to have to take a moment to look at your situation from a different perspective. Sorry, Ariel. Look at it from a different perspective. Maybe don't say yes right away to something and really evaluate it for yourself. Four of Wands is a great card. It's a celebration. It's something exciting. It can be a home card as well. But it is also, if you look at this card in particular in this deck, it is look like it's a gateway you're going to pass through to go toward something new. And for some of you, as I said, that new job is also aligned with a new place you're going to live. So, wow, very, very powerful energies. But my feeling is don't make a snap decision, especially if you have multiple irons in the fire right now. Uh, there really could be, you bide your time. It's not going to cost you anything, hopefully. I mean, again, depending on your situation to bide your time, especially at least until the full moon in Aries, if you can, after Mercury gets out of retrograde on the 18th. So, wow. Some of you, what could be going on here because of the four of wands, the 10 of cups, and, you know, we like to say home is where the heart is. There is something going on perhaps multiple offers on a house, you could maybe finally win the offer, you know, get, you're the one who ends up getting okayed to buy that particular house. You may also have multiple offers coming in on your own home if you're trying to sell it. And again, there is something very important here about the timing of all of this because the hangman is here. Now, there is a situation here with this energy, Taurus. This may go back to March. This is Pisces energy. It could go all the way back or a year ago. There could have been something that got initiated in your money career and biz life a year ago, and it's coming full circle now. Like maybe you and your family or you just you decide, you and your cat decided, yeah, you know what? I, I really want a new beginning and I want it to manifest by next fall. Well, and here it comes now. For others of you, you may have decided in March, you know what, I really got to start looking for another job. And it takes time in today's world to, to manifest the new opportunity, but it seems like your efforts after much patience are going to start paying off. So Taurus, this is excellent, excellent energy. The thing here is again, follow your heart, follow what you know is right for your happiness. And with this beautiful, this is such a good reading, these beautiful initiating energies of the aces and the fool, your energy is going to feel freed. You're going to feel lighter. You're going to feel like the world is your oyster again, that you can really go out and find your happiness and turn, you know, you're going to have a whole new chapter of your life with more happiness and joy in it from this new beginning and taking action toward this new beginning. So gorgeous energies. Do not worry about this hangman. As I said, there's something for you to reconsider this month. It's perfectly in tune with the Mercury retrograde energies. Look at your situation from a different perspective and get ready to make a move and make a decision toward your new future. Leave me a comment, Taurus. Let me know what's going on for you with these energies. And remember to check back toward the end of the month because so much is in flux this month. You know, we get a lot of planets are, are getting up to speed. It may take a little while for these energies to fully manifest. It may take until the very, very end of October. So, you know, come back and check in and see how much um, evolved for you. All right. I love you guys. Have a great October. Take care. I will see you again soon. We will see you again soon. Stella Wild, signing out.